Mount Vernon is building a new $11 million police department. They say their current department falls short in areas necessary for the force to excel at their job. Rachel Gartner has more from Jefferson County. It's nearly 80 years old. In a former life, it was a car dealership. And police chief Trent Page says the current police department is crowded, outdated, and truly no longer serves its purpose. There's just so many different ways that this building does not meet not only our needs, but the needs of the uh, public that come in here requesting police services. Chief Page gave me a brief tour to hit the highlights. This small dark room is dispatch. This hallway houses the investigators offices. Here's the singular interview room and up these stairs, the room used for road call briefings and if needed, an emergency operations center. We had one of our councilmen who did a walkthrough checking out the building when we first were discussing trying to get a new police department. He uh, compared it to what used to be a house that somebody's made into apartments and they've basically used up every spot that they could to try to make apartments. Mayor John Lewis says he believes it's the job of municipal government to protect their residents but it's difficult to do that with antiquated facilities and resources. We've got to have a facility that gives our men and women the tools they need today to be respected, professional, and take care of our citizens. And Lewis says with the refinancing of bonds, ARPA funds, and financial support contributed by Congressman Mike Bost, residents won't see a tax hike to help with construction. Essentially, we're able to construct this new facility uh, without any added expense, no taxes being raised in any way for the taxpayers of Mount Vernon. Assistant City Manager Nathan McKenna says each specialty will have its own dedicated area, a training room, a larger dispatch, and the property already city owned at Veterans Park. So we wouldn't have the added expense of going out and purchasing property that we could take that, ex what would have been a, an expense towards purchasing it and put it all towards the building. McKenna says if the project stays on track, it is set to be complete in May of 2023. Reporting in Mount Vernon, Rachel Gartner, News 3. There's been some concern from folks about a popular walking path. It was cut off by the station construction. Officials say that path will be replaced and even improved.